Hello and welcome to my final episode here on Season 1 on the Broke Rock server. I am starting on my castle wall over at my docks. Um, and kind of a bittersweet episode. Uh, I've done a lot of building this week and I'm just going to do a tour kind of show you what I've gotten done and hopefully you'll like it and I think the first thing I will show you starting off here is I finished up the walls on this passage from my front of the castle back here to where my stables were going to be Got a little bit of a, an iron gate here in, in place. <laughs> My cavalry will be made up of skeleton horses. <laughs> yeah. Um, unfortunately, I did not have time to actually work in the stables. But what I have done, if anybody is interested when they download the world and building this area up, I kind of left signs for what I was thinking for each area. Calvary barracks back in the hill. Horse stables back in the hill. Fix up this this opening with a gate. <laughs> Something a little more secure. Uh, let me go sleep and I will continue this little tour. Besides having the signs all over the place biggest thing that I worked on this past week I'm sure you saw was this over here in the hill let's take a walk on over here and I'll show you what this is maybe you have some idea Just go on in to my inn. You'll find us immediately in the receptions area. Where's my, there we go. And a guest book. And this is kind of a B&B &B that's in here. And this is the little dining area with some great views of what would have been my city. On this side of the receptions desk, you have kind of a little sitting waiting room, waiting area. And then you have stairways going up to rooms there. You've got a stairway going up to rooms here. Of course, all their, all their keys are behind the desk. The receptionist's desk. Back here. Oops. We have the laundry room and the kitchens. And I took a page out of Genesis' book with the smoke under the fir uh, under the stove, the grill. And this has a little window out to the city, so they they can still see what's going on. A little ice box. Now in my texture pack, uh, the grass in this particular biome is this nice color that kind of goes with the walls, but I think in a normal faithful texture pack it's bright green. So before I upload, uh, before I leave, I'm going to change this actually to gray carpet, I think, just in case the color doesn't come through for you guys. Or I might do the wood. No, I'll do carpet because the wood would just blend too much with these walls. Yep, I'll do gray carpet. Alright, so now... Which direction? This direction. Um, over this past year, I've had some really great subscribers. People leaving great comments. And to show my appreciation... I've labeled 
various rooms with different people's names. So that you guys know that you always have a place here at my base. Unfortunately, I didn't get to decorating them, I just ran out of time. I'm sorry. Uh, but today, actually, the very last day here on the server, with the, this world being up, Judd Samurai was on, and he kind of owed me a little bit of a favor. And in the final hour, Judd Samurai has come to claim some of my sandstone. For a favor! And I asked him if he would care to decorate a room. And he said, yeah. And he chose Toasty Puma as a room to decorate. So, Toasty Puma, this is from Judd Samurai. Let's take a look. Kind of a bold yellow and brown theme. Got some side chairs with a runner between them. The nice flooring with the glass, and the, the focal point in the headboard, so yeah. It was pretty cool that Judd uh, came over here and helped, helped do this for me, because I, I was just running out of time for, for decorating. And then on this hallway there is... The thing is, I wanted to put everybody's names up. I did, but I ran out of room for rooms and ran out of time this one's just a little closet but uh, this one here is a room with no name so if you are here you download the world this is your room it can be your room this one can be your room and then let's let's actually go to the other hallway because each hallway has has an unnamed room In this hallway, it's this one right here, with, with this kind of a view, to the south, it's looking to the south. Um, and here we have Corthol, R. Mills, Fizz Cannon, and Dara. Now I will say, Dara, I did, I did get to this room. I was able to decorate this room, I had time, and so this is for you, and I hope you like it. This is kind of the penthouse room, the corner room, the biggest room. Has a little writing table, wardrobe, little sofa, and because it's the corner it looks out both to the south and to the east, overlooking the city. So, yeah, there you go. My appreciation for those who have commented, subscribed. Not much, but it's here if you ever download the world. Oh, yes, and this was another thing. Um, in my last video, I noted that cocoa beans on each side of the door still, or now, allows uh, mobs to go through. It was like their pathing changed with the last last update. And so uh, this was an idea from, from Dara with the fence posts and the walls. And I haven't had too much of an issue with it so far. And this also helps prevent um, the zombies from breaking down the doors, because there's no doors. So, alright, um, what else can I show you besides all the signs all over the place? And if you down download the world, they're, they're pretty clear. Like, road passes next to inn going to the back of the city. Yeah. Road passes next, next to the inn. So it's basic stuff like that. The major throw fair. I've labeled a few of the different zones. Like 
and then like this. This whole flat area should be an open air market with a central feature. Yes! And then all of this sand over here, it's marking shops. Kind of a rough outline of the shops, like a one story shop here. Got a fenced in garden work area here. This one I'm thinking would be a large corner building, but it's a duplex, so you got a business on one side and a business in the shop front on this side. And some of the shops, they're two-story. They, they have entrances in both the bottom area, the lower level, and this upper level. And so, if on the off chance somebody wants to download this world and continue working on my city, I have in this book kind of what my thoughts and plans had been originally for laying out and making the city. And I'm going to put that right there, just in case somebody wants to <laughs> delve into my thoughts. Scary, I know, right? And finally, I am going to drop off all my gear into chests. And I'm going to empty out uh, my ender chest, too. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to empty out my ender chest. And those will be up here in this, this house. Yep, it's all going to be up in here. Some of it's pretty good stuff. It's gotten me through the season. Uh, not the whole season. Some of this has obviously been replaced. Um, for extra fireworks, just to make it easier for you guys to find, there are some here. Uh, this is the last of half of a shulker box that I was given. Where can we put this? Boom, right there. And I think, yeah, we'll just drop it in that one. All my ender chest boxes, if you can tell, are color coordinated. Whites, grays, browns, reds, goes to the rainbow. And then these last ones are um, these last two are just random bulk, uh, um, bulk chests, I guess, for if I'm mining or picking up random stuff and I don't have time to sort. These are my unsorted chests. There we go. Top barrel, that's where they are. And so with that, empty of inventory and defenseless without my armor, I move on to the next adventure. And I hope to see you in season two. Until then, as always, have fun and see ya.